Hello everyone, thanks for stopping back again today. Today I thought I would do a video on the HiCU 2K camera system. thought I would do a video on the desktop app and pull up some cameras and look at some footage. So I have their app open. This particular screen you can see the four quadrants which will bring up a camera in each quadrant. On the right hand side is the list of your recorders. In this case I have one recorder listed. If you click this down arrow right here it will pull up your cameras under that particular recorder. I only have two cameras right now and I do have them labeled front door and driveway. So let's pull up one of the cameras right now. Single click brings it up in the quadrant that you have selected. It does take it a second and there we go. So as simple as that you can bring up a camera if you wish to expand that to the all four quadrants this is simply a double click and brings up the camera. One thing to note is what you're looking at here is in standard definition. For some reason um, when you view a camera inside of their apps, whether it is the desktop app or your phone app, it brings it up in standard definition. If you want to see it in high definition, there's a little toggle down here, a little button that you can select. Doing so will bring up the HD video. As you can see, the picture cleared up quite a bit. So this is a 2K video. You can see up here at the top left, I have the date, the timestamp and the little battery icon. Uh, these are battery powered cameras. This one has the little uh, I guess energy bar in the middle. <laughs> that is because I have it plugged in one way or another. In this case th this camera is plugged in via USB to the closet inside my house right right inside this door. So this one is powered and looking out my front door. Easily see anybody that comes up to the door I have it uh, to the point where I can see some of the road and my neighbor's yard. But I can only see part of my driveway, which is fine. Another item to note is it's set on motion only. So any motion that happens in this scene will be recorded. That does include the road. Okay, so that's the front door camera. Double click, we'll minimize again. Oh, you have to single click. My apologies. <laughs> okay, now let's bring up a second camera. Single click in the next quadrant over. Let's click on driveway. As you can see, it was a single click. We'll let it load. And there's my driveway camera. Let's expand this one out. And there we can see the cars in the driveway. Now this is this is the camera that I have on solar. So presently it is being marked as being charged. So the solar panel is bringing in uh, some power, charging the battery. You can see a snow plow coming down the street there. Notice the screen is uh, a little rough, and that's because it once again it is in standard definition. Coming down here to the icon down here at the bottom of the screen we can make it high def and I crisp up the image pretty well okay so there's our two uh, our two cameras we have set up yes enjoy all that snow out there let's go pull up some recorded video so let me double click on this to minimize and we're back to our quadrants here with our screens. Down here at the bottom there are some icons you can select the first being playback. And it wants me to close the video being played that's okay. And this brings up our this brings up our playback desktop. Let me see if I can get this on the screen here. Which is better? Yeah, I guess that's better. Okay. All right, so let's go back to our left quadrant. Same kind of procedure. 
Go over here to our DVR list, or well, the NVR. And let's pull up some video on the front door. So single click. Down here at the right, we see a calendar. We can pull up video uh, in our in our timeline. So let's just go pull up some video from yesterday, last night. So let's click on Friday the 4th. We'll go to Retrieve. And it's going to present to us with the camera as far as the first recording. So it's going to go back in time. It gave us uh, 3 12 a.m. Friday morning. So that must have been the first recorded video of Friday, by the way I'm looking here. So here we have the snow plow. Happened to be going through the scene at 3.12 a.m. Friday. What it did was it queried all of my motion video from Friday the 4th, presented it on a timeline here at the bottom of the screen. Anywhere you see a black dot is where you will find motion and ultimately a recorded video. So let's take this first clip that showed on the screen here. This was a snow plow that happened to go through the front yard at 3.12 a.m. And you can notice there is audio. <laughs> and let's pretend that this was an incident. Okay, we have an incident at 3.12. I need to pull the recorded video. So let's go to download down here at the lower right hand corner. Don't mind my Amazon package there. <laughs> By clicking download presents us with a list of all the motion detected scenes that were recorded. We're particularly looking at the one at 312 AM, which would be our first one here. So if I highlight it, click download, it will download does take a minute you can see the, the status bar indicating the process of the download once completed it will get presented with this little notification down here your download is successful would you like to open yes I would now here on my screen you will see all of my downloads. One thing to note is this folder here I created. <laughs> you have an option to create a folder and point all of your downloaded videos to a particular folder, which I did. By default, this goes to the Windows temp directory which is not where you want your videos to go. It's very hard to get there. So I highly recommend creating a custom folder. So we have our videos on the screen. As you can see, these are labeled accordingly. This one is labeled 2022-0204, which is what we want. Double click, and there's our video. Okay, let's close this out. Let's try to pull up a video on uh, the driveway. So, single click on the driveway. Oh, close this out. Oh, you got to stop. Okay. You have to click the stop button. <laughs> okay, let's pull up the driveway, highlight, come down here to retrieve, we'll pull up the same time frame as that other video. So we should see that snow plow come down the street and there we go, we did. So click pause because it's just going to go through all of your recorded videos down here. So 
We'll just click pause on this video and use it for our demo. Double click to expand. And let's watch that one again here. So there's a snow plow coming down the street. Notice at the time, 312, it was on battery power. So we are on battery and we're fully charged. Okay, so we have a recorded video here we would like to download, 312 again. Let's go to download. Let's go to our 312 time frame which we need to go to a second screen here. Lots of it recorded video here. 312 download. Once again, status icon keeps you updated on the status of the download. Does take a second. Once completed, We'll have it bring up our downloads folder again. Click open. And we should see our second recorded video. Right here it is. So let's double click to play the video. So as you can see, fairly simple process to be able to both view live video as well as recorded. Feature set makes it uh, enough for the average person, uh, maybe not as much as someone that would want some advanced features that you would see in an enterprise system, but for a homeowner, plenty enough features to get you what you need, uh, whether it's full-time recording or on motion. These are all motion only. I'm using a 128 gig card, which these videos don't take up much space so that seems to be seems to be a good fit for that recorder but there we go there's a a simple playback of a video close everything out here okay so we close everything out we're back to our our screen here well thanks everyone for stopping by this was a simple demo of how to pull up video both live and recorded. If you have any questions on using the app, leave a comment below. I'll be doing another video in the future on how to do the other controls within this app. But until then, again, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you on the next one.